Hello, I sometimes get asked to give my opinion on bits of equipment that are out on the market. And uh, what I've decided to do is to go into these bits of equipment in a bit more detail. And so I'm planning on doing a series of reviews of mutes. And the first one I'd like to start with is Tattoo Mutes, made in Hungary. Um, when I first received this, I was a little skeptical about it because it seems so flimsy, you know, you can bend it. It's obviously being 3D printed, and according to my um, <clears throat> IT specialist, my 10-year-old son, um, it's been done on a very good machine, you know, and it's, it's really good quality. Um, I like the style of it. It looks great. It's very light. It's very comfortable in the hands. It's really nice, I think, whether you have big or small hands. That's going to work really, really well. Um, the intonation, let's do the intonation test. I've got the tuning machine up here. So. Let's see how many, if any, there is an alteration on this. I'm going to try not to look at the tuning machine because I'll try and play in tune if I see it. between 8 and 12 cents it's gone up, which I don't think is bad. I think that's, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice a problem with that. Um, it's very nice. Wow, nice low register. Even with my low register, that works really well. You know, low mutes are a bit... A bit stuffy around there, not at all. Wow, wow, really cool, really free. I like that, that's very cool. So let's, let's road test that a little bit now. high on the B-flat at the end, but that's my problem. And I've actually had the chance to test it for real because I just did go on tour with it um, for a couple of weeks and it was in my suitcase. Now what I would say is a bit of a de detriment, I don't know whether you can see that, but I'm just wondering whether the corks used are a little bit too soft because I didn't have anything excessive in my, in my suitcase. Um, that happens. We, Put these things in our suitcase. The uh, the only other thing that kind of concerns me about it is um, oh, do excuse me. Um, I, I'm just not sure what oh, happens because it seems so light and flimsy. Have you ever dropped a mute before? I have. Can you imagine the dents you'd have on an aluminium mute right now? I was a little nervous about doing that, I have to say. That's some pretty tough stuff. That's a hard floor I've just dropped it onto from a, quite a, a big height. There's no sign of any problems on the seams at all. I like this. This is a, this is a good quality product. Um, I think before giving a genuine assessment, I think I'd need to use it for a year or two years. We don't know how um, how long it's going to stand up to that kind of treatment. <laughs> I don't normally treat mutes like this. I'm sorry to people who tattoo mutes. I don't normally do that to mutes, but hey, it stood the test. And as a small addendum, 
after I had made this video, but before we released it, I bumped into a friend who's had one of these mutes for a year, trumpet player. And so I think this photo backs up my suspicion that perhaps the corks are in need of some attention. There's a little design fault there. It seems to be a bit of a weak spot. These retail for 99 euros. And actually, I would say that that's good value as long as it's going to hold. As long, I think you might need to look after it a bit better than I just did then. But I think that's a, I think that's that's worth the money. I think you've got to because the quality of the mute is good, the sound is good, um, and it's nice to play. So I guess overall, if I was uh, if I was going to give something a mark, I guess I'd give this ninety four marks out of a hundred. The uh, I wouldn't give it any more than that at the moment because I'm not sure about how it would stand up. I tell you what, I'll use it for the next year. And uh, if it's still in one piece, and I'm in one piece, I'll give it another couple of marks.